Hey everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky, Beeblebum here, and today we're going to be looking at the cash pen glitch once again. Today I want to explain you how to simplify the technique, also I want to share with you how to use some certain layouts to get a better result. So, before we go into that, again the cash pen glitch is what allows you to build a freighter part on a planetary base or planetary parts on your freighter. So let's jump into it. Let me show you how we can do the cash pen glitch now very simple and then jump over to the next tips and tricks. So let me jump into our menu. You can see I do not have any freighter parts here. I'm not using a mod or anything. Everything is empty as a regular. So this is the regular building parts. No modding in here. So if we go to our menu, we go to our catalog and guide. You should be able to go to your building parts right here then go into your freighter construction because we are now on the planetary base. So let's go and build some freighter building parts. Freighter construction, you can take your building parts you want to build. Let's say the exterior platform, just pin it. Now it will be pinned into your menu, your secondary mission. Just go out of your menu again, out of the uh, start menu. Go into your build menu, press edit placed parts and press it once again. And that is the only thing you need to do now to open up and get the building part in your hand. As you can see, it's now a red beam right there. That's okay. I'm not allowed to build any freighter parts anyway. So let's go and build camera. Now move over to this building part and we're going to store this exterior platform in our cache. Like that. So now the exterior platform is stored in our cache. We're going to be duplicating this floor, snap it on the outside here. And now we're going to do a wire glitch. And that is going to exchange the floor with the exterior platform that we normally use on our freighters. So this is the cash pin glitch. This is the easiest way to do it for now. Just double pressing the edit build menu and that is going to allow you to just build it like that. Now, let's start with preparing now for a way easier technique. What I'm going to do, we're going to go to the outside here. We're going to snap a small paver on here and then we're going to snap a large paver on here so this will now be the perfect location when we're going to be snapping an exterior platform or a freighter room because it's going to be perfectly aligned with the floor right here let me just uh, snap it on the outside here so we can duplicate it when necessary if i go to my menu we go to my catalog and guide we go and select again that platform store it in our cache take this one here and now simply wire glitch can see now it's perfectly lined up here with this one right there. So now that we have the perfect location merged on here, what we can do now, we can start using this one to create a grid. For that, we have to open up our menu once again, go and select yourself the alloy power door. So we have a connector right there. I'm going to take this one, place it here, reverse wire glitch like that, connect it to that connector. And then we can do this again here, reverse wire glitch, connect it to this connector here, and now we can delete the garage door. So now we have the possibility to create a grid out of these. So we can just simply build a grid out of wires. You can see I now have a nice grid here which now is going to allow me to wire glitch our freighter parts on there. And each of these connectors is a point where we could glitch either a part on or a door on or whatever we want to glitch on there. Now, we also have the side here where the um, corridor is snapping Tom. So we will have to also now just delete this one here. We're going to go and have a short wall. Snap the short wall here against it, reverse wire glitch and then pull that wire here. So we have our connector right here as well all right so now we can go back in our menu go to our catalog and guide let's uh, select a building part let's go to our freighter construction let's take a empty room here expansion room let's go in this one we have it now in our inventory here so now we go into our menu press edit and edit again so now we have that room at hand just simply toggle to the wire and wire glitch it on that connector there we go. So now you can see I have this room perfectly snapped here. I can do this again if I want to. And I see now I have two rooms and I could continue doing this if I want to, uh, depending on how many wires you have prepared. So normally you will have the chance to build more than one room as long you keep in the building menu, as long you don't cancel. If you cancel, this will happen. It will change to a base computer or another building part, which is uh, a regular part. 
if you're going to be on the freighter it's not going to be a part like that it's going to be for example the corridor as it switches to the first part in your menu of the location you're at also on a quick side note i forgot to mention this in the previous video you need to have the materials in your inventory for the parts you want to build so if you want to build the freighter room you will need the actual materials in your inventory if you want to build the freighter room now we also have a wire right there as you can see here now we can connect a door on that so now what we're going to do we're going to go into our menu again go to our catalog and guide building menu parts greater construction door so we have the door right now go in the building menu edit build edit again and now we should be able to just wire glitch this on this wire right here and there we go now the advantage is because we pull the wire from here to here the door automatically opens up with no railing if i would have had a wire that goes from here to here the door would have switched around would have rotated and there would have been a railing sticking out on front of it but that's it this is how you build yourself a room on the freighter with a connecting door you can also connect windows if you want to because we do have the wires on the side there you see there is a wire there and there's a wire there so we could put windows on these as well all right let's jump over to the uh, freighter and show you how it works on the freighter now now to do the same on the freighter we will have to do something different first of all we cannot glitch we cannot build any wires on a freighter so because of that we cannot use that wire frame out of electrical wire we could use the teleport cable the problem is with the teleport cable is if you connect two teleport cables on the same connector there is no more connection point so we need a byte bit cable there's one problem with the byte bit cable there is no device that has the connector in the center to get that byte bit cable perfectly centered and straight and level if i go to my device where we can connect the byte bit cable to this is the uh, byte bit device and we store it into our menu we snap it here and i glitch it you will see that the connector of the byte bit is out of the center so if i would pull a wire from here to my byte bit device the wire will be tilted to the left and it also will shift so every part I'm going to glitch is going to be glitched in a wrong direction, in a wrong angle. So what we can do is we just take the byte bit, so we just duplicate this one, toggle to the wire, then cycle to the byte bit cable, and then wire glitch that with the byte bit cable on the connector right here. Now we can delete this one, and now this one will be perfectly centered on this connector. As you can see, the connector is right here, as you can see. See, the byte bit cable is perfectly on the center. So now we can take another one of these, reverse wire glitch, cycle to the byte bit cable, connect, delete this one, reverse wire glitch again, cycle to the byte bit cable, like that. And now we have a byte bit cable in the floor right here. So if I now would do a reverse wire glitch, cycle to the byte bit cable again and connect it here, you can see I still have my connector for both wires. That means I can still glitch anything on this connection point. So now that we have this wire, let me delete this one. We cannot use this long wire. We want to create a grid that is the same size as the parts we're gonna be using, which is the floors and the walls, whatever is on the planetary base. So we go to our menu, we select the light floor. We will uh, toggle to the wire, cycle to the byte bit cable, and then wire glitch with the byte bit cable the light floor on top of it like that so now we can use our light floor to create a grid and that grid will serve as a layout that will have the same dimensions as we will be using for the building parts that normally are built on the planetary base so now if i delete my light floors i'm going to delete this wire here as well because this is not the correct dimension so now i have a connection point for floors right here so now I can go back, we go to our menu, we select a floor, so let's go to our catalog and guide, building parts, basic modules, let's go for the uh, alloy floors, it's pinned, so now we go into build menu, edit, edit, as you see the floor is now in our hands, we're simply going to go and toggle from here to the wire, cycle to the byte bit cable and wire glitch it on here, toggle the wire, Cycle to the byte bit cable and glitch. Toggle the wire, cycle the byte bit cable and glitch. And now we can see I got a mistake here, which is the uh, corridor. If this happens, we just have to uh, go into our menu again and do this again. Catalog, you can see it's no longer pinned here. 
So we just go to our catalog and guide again. Building parts, basic modules, and let's go to our alloy floor again. Take the floor. Edit, edit. Toggle to the wire, cycle to the byte bit, and Y glitch. Toggle to the wire, cycle to the byte bit, and Y glitch. And this is how you can build yourself floors or whatever you want to build. You can also see that the direction has changed, so you will have to take care of that if you want to make sure that the floors are glitching in the same way. That might be just by making grids and lines instead of a grid. But this is how you can build in your freighter as well. And that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was an informative video. Remember that I showed you a much quicker technique now. You need way less buttons to get your glitch done. And of course, as usual, have fun with this. Don't forget to share your creations in our Discord. We really enjoy to see what everyone comes up with. And there are some amazing people in there as well that always are ready to help you out. Anyway, once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out. And I will see you again next time. This was Beelbum. Goodbye for now.